Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create a crochet basket from Plorn and Old Yarn. To check out more DIYs, courses, and patterns, make sure to head to the website at cactusladycreation.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. To know how to make plarn for this project, head to the video in the card above where I'll show you how I made it. This plarn was not spun, but is simply cut and looped together and then caked with a yarn winder in order to have a center pull. I also used a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project. This plarn is pretty thin, so I used two together to get a bulkier look, but if your plastic is thicker, you can also just use one to do this. To begin, make a magic circle. For round one, make six single crochets into that circle. Now pull the tail to close the loop and connect the last stitch to the first with the slip stitch. And the plarn is a bit stiff to work with and does require a bit of strength to push that hook through the stitches. For round two, make two single crochets into each stitch for a total of 12 single crochets. Then connect the last stitch to the first with a slip stitch. For round three, single crochet into the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch. An increase simply means that we will be working two single crochets. What this will do is make our circle wider and remain flat as well. Do this all the way around working one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. To end this round, connect the last stitch to the first with a slip stitch. At this point, I'd like to use something to mark the beginning of the round, like a safety pin or bobby pin, or you can tie a piece of yarn, whatever you have on hand. For round four, single crochet into the next two stitches, and then increase or work two single crochets into that third stitch. Continue with this pattern all the way around. To 
In the round, connect the last stitch to the first with a slip stitch. For round five, work single crochets in the next three stitches and then increase in the fourth stitch. Continue with this pattern all the way around. You can end each of these rounds by connecting the last stitch to the first with the slip stitch. For round six, single crochet into the next four stitches and then increase in the fifth. Repeat this pattern all the way around. You'll also continue with this pattern for the rest of the bottom of your basket. So this means in round seven, you'd work single crochets in the first five stitches and then increase in the sixth stitch all the way around. And with each round, add another single crochet stitch before your increase stitch. Now I will show you how to add more plarn to your project. Simply begin your single crochet and before pulling the yarn all the way through, line up that new yarn, leaving a tail behind your work. Then take that hook, yarn over with the new yarn and pull all the way through. Now your new yarn is nice and secure into your project and you can continue working the rest of your single crochet row. And with each round, add another single crochet stitch before your increase stitch. If the bottom of your basket at any point starts to ruffle, you definitely don't want that. So in order to make your work flat again, simply take out the stitches of that row and then do a simple single crochet stitch round and then in the next round, continue with your increases. This should keep your work nice and flat. I worked a total of 24 rows for the base of my basket. So it was pretty wide at 19 inches. Now the rest of this project is so easy. Simply work single crochets all the way around and this will allow for vertical walls to begin to build up in your basket design. Continue working until your basket reaches the desired height. And you can just work these in a spiral, not counting any of the stitches or rows. Just continue working single crochets in each stitch. About halfway through, I did run out of plarn and decided to use some yarns that I had lying around and didn't like the colors or textures of and didn't know what else to use them for and so I decided they would be perfect for this project. So this is a fun way to use all of those yarns that you don't have another use for. For this project, I used three thinner yarns at once to bulk up the project to be similar to the thickness of the rest of the project. And I also really loved playing with different color combinations even though the yarns are very boring on their own, they somehow looked amazing all together when combined for this project. So feel free to experiment and play around with different colors and textures to create your unique basket. Now I'll show you how to finish off your work. Simply trim the tail. And pull it all the way through. Then take the end and bring it through three stitches, which will hide and secure the tail. Trim and it is nice and secure. Continue doing this with all of the ends. I loved my basket, but the plastics I used were very flimsy and this basket was just not holding its shape. 
so I'll show you a little trick on how to make it sturdier. To do this, I used some plastic canvas, but you can also use cardboard or thick cardstock or whatever you may have on hand. I happened to have some old plastic canvas in my stash and then simply trimmed it to be half of the basket project height. Trim your canvas sheets and then simply tuck them into the base of your basket. I cut four sheets and it covered a layer of my basket with some little gaps in between some of the sheets. So I cut four more to add a second layer and this was perfect. Then I simply folded the top part of the basket over the plastic canvas and voila, the sides of the basket have structure and we're ready to use to hold all of my craft supplies. You can also add handles or whatever accents you'd like to give this basket some extra flair, but I really liked it the way it was. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and also subscribe for more upcycle tutorials as I post each week. Thank you for watching and see you next time.